Gilman, welcome to Honors English 9. I'm going to be going over our first assignment, which is reading and thinking about and writing about the poem, Nothing Gold Can Stay. So what will we be learning in this class? Oh my goodness, so much. Um, all of our learning for this class will be focused on meeting essential standards on reading, writing, speaking, listening, and language. So we're going to start the class by starting small, meaning we are going to look just at the words in this poem. So this reading standard we'll be working on in this assignment is determine the meaning of words and phrases as they are used in the text poem, including figurative and connotative meanings, analyze the cumulative impact of specific word choices on meaning and tone. Whew, there was a lot in there. The words that are in bold are words that we will be defining in our first unit, which will be understanding and analyzing elements of literature. Figurative language, connotation, word choice, tone, those are all words we'll be defining as elements of literature and then analyzing. Here's the poem. It's called Nothing Gold Can Stay. It's by Robert Frost, who is one of the most famous American poets of all time. I'll read it for you. Nature's first green is gold, her hardest hue to hold, her early leaves a flower, but only so an hour. The leaf subsides to leaf, so Eden sank to grief, so dawn goes down to day, nothing gold can stay. So I'm gonna be asking you three questions about this poem. The first one is what is this poem about? Literally, what is the poem saying? What is it telling you? And then, because this is a poem, there's always a deeper meaning. What's the deeper meaning? What is this poem really about? It talks about nature, green, flowers, leaf. That's the literal, right? What do those things symbolize? Symbolism it's one of the most fun things in literature. A symbol is something that is two things. It's itself and it's something else at the same time. So the easiest example I can think of, if we were in the classroom, there would be an American flag behind me. I would say this flag is a piece of cloth. It is fabric, but it also means something much more, right? it means our country, it stands for our country. So again, symbolism is something that has two meanings, a literal meaning, what is it? Symbolic meaning, what is it really? So the third question I want you to answer about nothing gold can stay is what does gold symbolize? Gold is in the title of the poem, it's in the first line in the poem, and it's in the last line of the poem. Well, the last line of the poem is the title. So when you see something repeated in literature, that's a key to you to know that's important. The poet said it again and again. There are only 40 words in this poem and two of them are gold. Okay, so again, your first assignment. I'm having you write about a poem. This is Honors English. We're jumping right in with analysis of poetry, but really I just wanna see what you can do. So don't worry about being perfect here. You're going to write a paragraph where you answer those three questions that were in the slideshow. What's the poem about? What's it really about? And what does gold symbolize? And then I would also like you to add an example to support your ideas. So let me give you an example of what I mean by an example. Robert Frost wrote another very famous poem called The Road Not Taken. And he says, two roads diverged in a wood and I chose the one less traveled by. So if I was to say, what does the road less traveled by mean? What's its symbolism? I could say, well, I picked the option that not everybody picks. So then you would give an example of that. So um, you could say something like, when I was in eighth grade, everybody decided to go to the mall and hang out, and I decided to stay home and read. Okay, that's kind of a silly example, but I hope you get the idea here. So this assignment is due to um, Schoology this Friday. Um, I'll have another video where I show you how to upload your assignment to Schoology. And then even though the poem is in here a whole bunch of times in the slideshow, if it's easier for you, you can access it here with the link.
there it is again. Um, if you have any questions, please email me. I'll be happy to get back to you right away. And I look forward to meeting you all and seeing what you think about Nothing Gold Can Stay.